There are six parts of this Kamala Town Hall thing. I had no idea. I thought it was only four. Well, here's part three. Go. expect you to deviate from the direction of that administration compared to your own. How can we differentiate your policy and your beliefs from that of Biden's? That's a great question, and thank you. Well, first of all, my administration will not be a continuation of the Biden administration. I bring <laughs> to this role my own ideas and my own experience. I represent a new generation of leadership on a number you of issues. You said that, Kamala. But and believe that we have to actually take of new approaches. It's always For a number example, of For example, what we talked but about in terms of number? housing. I, my experience that you have leads no experience. to that priority includes what I did to take on the big banks around the foreclosure crisis oh, when I brought up. billions of dollars to homeowners that were the subject of predatory lending. I Kamala, you don't know anything. Know what home ownership means to the American people, not to mention what it meant to my mother who worked very hard and saved up so that by the time I was a teenager, she was able to buy our first home. I bring to it my experience. If I was that black girl, I would just jump out of the audience, sprint at Kamala, and punch her teeth in really hard. It's actually taking care of my mother when she was sick, and it was, as it turned out, dying from cancer. Okay, this is my third part going through this. My patience is dead. And so I know you should much less to the economy of neighborhoods and communities. So that's why my plan, and it's a new approach, is about tax cuts. On <laughs> what? Uh, damn. What we need to do to strengthen our border. How will you integrate immigrants into U.S. So, uh, society safely? What benefits will you give them and at what cost to taxpayers? Oh, interesting. How much money, how much money will be allocated? Well, thank you, Jackson. Let's start with this. America's immigration system is broken and it needs to be fixed. And it's hey, been broken for a long it, time. You killed it, Kamala. And part of what we need to do is always not prioritize really, but she's not helping it. what we need to do to strengthen our border. I will tell you I'm the only person in this race among the two choices that voters have. I've personally prosecuted transnational criminal organizations. Don't ever say that again. Don't ever say that again. Don't ever say that again in the trafficking of guns, drugs, and human beings. I have spent a significant part of my career making sure that our border is secure and that we do not allow criminals in and we don't <laughs> allow that kind of trafficking to happen and come Kamala, in. Kamala, how can you say that? How can you say that? With a straight, well, I mean, that maybe that's why she looks drunk and she's stuttering. To our country. And as... <sighs> The, as my opponent as I just said <laughs> has proven himself he would prefer to run on the problem instead of fix the problem Trump you wants to fix the problem you moron there were some of the most conservative members of the United States Congress working with others Am that I hearing came the up same with the border again? security bill that would have put 1500 more border agents at the border those border agents are overwhelmed oh that triggered me it was a garbage packed bill if you look at the bill that's not the only thing that was in there. Oh, no. They, they, oh, what do they call it? What's the word they use? Oh, when, when a bill is, like, stuffed with all this extra garbage. It was, like, pig slopped? No. <laughs> pork. There's a lot of, wait, is that what it was? Pork? There's a lot of pork in the bill? But, oh, my gosh, the 1,500 agents. There is tons of garbage. It was a bad bill. It's a piece of garbage bill. Anyone who's read the bill knows it's garbage and even if let's say it was just the 1500 agents what are 1500 agents gonna do i've said it before that's barely any people that like fills maybe two schools worth versus the entirety of our border 1500 and that's not going to fix the problem that's like putting a band-aid over a broken leg it <laughs> it's not gonna work they need the support they need the backup no, they we don't. Have to secure border, and we have to have a comprehensive pathway for citizenship. Let, let and that includes requiring us. people, hardworking people, to earn citizenship and do it in a comprehensive human. What about the ones that aren't hardworking, good people? 
What about that? Humane and orderly manner. Let me ask you about that. I mean, you talk about the bill that Donald Trump uh, quashed. In, that was in 2024. Was you talk about the bill he tried to get passed in 2021. That wasn't able to get passed. 2022, 2023, sure. there were record border crossings. You, your administration took a number, hundreds of executive actions. It didn't stem the flow. Numbers kept going up. Finally, in 2024, Thank uh, goodness just in this. June, three weeks before the, last, the first presidential debate with Joe Biden, uh, you institute executive actions that had a dramatic impact, really shut down people crossing over. Why didn't your administration do that in 2022, 2023? First of all, you're exactly right, Anderson. And oh as gosh, of today, we have cut the flow of immigration by over half. In fact, the numbers I saw most recently, mm. illegal uh, immigration. Yeah. But if is it was low, that easy on, with that finish. executive me, action, why not do it in 2022, well, 2023? Because we were working with Congress and hoping that actually we could have a long-term fix to the problem instead of a short-term fix. You couldn't have done one and the, both at the same time? Well, here's the thing. I, we... You have to understand that ultimately Her this problem is, is so going to be gone. fixed through congressional action. Congress My has about to die. the authority and the purse. I, I hate to use D.C. terms, but literally they write the checks. Part of the issue is in order to really fix the problem at the border. I was just at the border recently talking. Oh, about I'm sure you were, Kamala. Yeah, I'm fine. sure you were. You're Donald Trump. You criticized the wall more than 50 times. You called it stupid useless and a medieval vanity project. Is a border wall stupid? Well, let's talk about Donald Trump and that border wall. <laughs> Everything's about so that. So remember Donald Trump <laughs> Oh, demon Mexico face. Oh, look at her demon face. Oh, her demon Before face. It? Come on, they didn't. How much of that wall did he build? I think the last number I saw is about 2%. And then when it came for time for him to do a photo op, you know where mm. he did it? In the part of the wall that President Obama built. But you're agreeing so, to a bill on. that would earmark $650 million <laughs> to continue building that we, wall. I, I pledge that I am going to bring forward that bipartisan bill to further strengthen and secure our border. Yes, I am. You're not going and to do I'm going to work Kamala. across the aisle to pass com a comprehensive bill that deals with a broken immigration system. Be I think Jackson's question, part of it was to acknowledge that America has always had migration, Answer the question, but there please. needs to be a legal process for it. People have to earn it. Right. And that's the point that Why I think is, is the most important like point that can be made, which is we need a president who is grounded in common sense and practical outcomes. Like, let's just fix this thing. Let's just fix it. Why is there any oh, ideological this is hard. perspective I can't do on this. it? Let's just fix the problem. It, it, to fix the problem, you're, you're doing this compromise bill. It does call for $650 million that was earmarked under Trump to actually still go to build the wall. I'm not afraid of good ideas where they occur. You know, so you don't think it's stupid anymore? I think what he did <laughs> and how he did fried. it was, did not make much sense because he actually didn't do much of anything. Come on, you've talk, literally done nothing. Wall, right, we just talked about it. Oh, thank goodness that's over. I can't do this anymore. Ugh. Well, that was fun. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm not going to watch any more of this. I'm, 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 I'm whiting out hard.